Today we're going to learn how to create some text that looks like a badge on a card, just like what you're seeing here. So we're just going to create a new image and it's going to make it uh, 800 by 400. I'm just going to hit OK. Now the first thing we want to do is zoom out a bit and then select our gradient tool here and select the option linear gradient, normal and opacity 100. And I'm just going to select this blue and drag from outside of the bottom corner just to outside of the top corner just like so. The next thing I want to do is press D to reset the colors and then X to change them around and then create a new layer. Then just using the polygon lasso tool just going to click around the image here just on the outside just to cre create like a glossy film selection and then click back on our gradient tool with the foreground white and the background black then starting from about here just drag down to here so it's white to grey and then we want to change the blending mode to linear dodge and the opacity down to probably say 23% and then go select and deselect. Now what we want to do is use our text tool to type in some text and then we're just going to use our move tool to position that text and then what we want to do is right click on the text here and select blending options and then the first thing we want to do is add a drop shadow so I'm just going to select drop shadow, tick that uh, blending mode multiply, color black all these settings are pretty standard, the distance will probably change to about 4 and the size will change to about 7 contour, change, uh, leave that as it is um, and all the rest just leave as is then what we want to do is select inner glow and you want to choose a color that's close to your background color so I'm just going to select a, a blue probably a lighter blue and then what you want to do is change the blending mode to multiply and we will change the size to about 8 pixels and tick this option here and then the range will probably set it to about 70... 76% and then what we want to do is select the bevel and emboss option change the style to emboss and the technique to chisel hard uh, the depth we want to choose probably about 170 to 180 so we'll say 172 75 and direction up size 5 we want to change the angle though probably to negative 45 and the degrees here we'll put at say about 60 or 70 and then the glo gloss contour option we want to select the this option here and then we want to tick that box there and for the Opacity, we want to set it to 100, color black, and the shadowing mode, we want to change the shadow mode to hard light, and set the opacity at about 80%. Then what we want to do is select the contour option, and just click in here, we'll bring up this screen, and what we want to want to do is just drag this down to like so and maybe another one 
around here. But you can sort of play around with that until you get your desired result. And this is what we have come up with. Okay, so hope this has been a help to you, and thanks for watching.